ChatGPT can be a very useful tool to help us write reports and articles and gather information overall. In theory, it only has available information until September 2021, but with the new extension or with Bing Chat, we can actually consult the web. For example, let's notice that here I have the web access activated. I remind you that this is done by installing the ChatGPT web extension, which is available for Chrome and Edge as well as for several other browsers. Well, this allows us to search the web. Knowing all this, I have told our assistant to generate an executive report on the electricity sector in Spain in 2023 with its proper introduction, description of the generation mix, study of imports, exports and conclusions. Well, and ChatGPT is telling us the following. Spain has undergone important transformations. The promotion of renewable energies and the search for sustainability. You can also see here, well, that the renewable energy mix is approximately 50%. And he gives us the reference here. This includes wind, solar and biomass, and then nuclear is still being used. It doesn't give us as many details about this part. And then about the connections, it is telling us that Spain has maintained them and that it has imported electricity from France and Portugal at times of high demand and that it has exported to Morocco and other European markets. Here it falls a bit short due to the lack of data on whether it has also exported to Portugal and France. On top of that, it has added some short conclusions with sources. I now told him to develop the percentages of the generation mix and the imports and exports, but taking into account that most of this year's data might not have been published yet, it might use his data from 2022. Well, here it gives us the same thing, but let's look into it regardless. Spain develops wind energy by 20%, solar energy by 15%, biomass, and then nuclear energy by 20%, and fossil energy by 30%. And here with the study of imports and exports, it does say that these have decreased. And it also says that Spain's exports have risen by 4.7%. But if we scroll all the way down, the good thing about all this is that it will tell us about the sources. Now we see that when it comes to the paragraph of the monthly report, it is not referring to electricity. Instead, our assistant has come up with this paragraph on its own based on the information it had access to. That is the reason why I asked for it to further develop. Seeing the sources by ourselves also helps us verify if the answers are reliable or not. All right, so here it says something about 250,000 per hour, which happens to be 2.4 less than in the previous semester, that is in January. Well, that's great, but let's not get into this very niche information. Let's give it a try with another browser. This time we are going to use Microsoft Edge. I have it open here and we will ask it the same thing. I have to remind you that this one is based on GPT-4, which is a way better and more reliable model than the normal version. This GPT-4 version is also used in chat GPT+. And here it is telling us that we have spent one out of the 30 questions that we have available for free in a single day. Well, this is the report. And here it gives us the references that we have already input. And in this case, we do not need to activate any extension because it is already a web-based AI. This time around, Edge is basically giving us the following answer. In 2022 with so many, 59% was renewable, while 22 was wind energy and coal, and one was gas, 2.9 and 2. If energy consumption was so much, which represents a decrease of 2.4, we have seen before imports and exports, Spain recorded an exporting jump of such. And now, well, if we scroll all the way down, it will tell us the documents from which the information was taken. Okay, so here we can see the sources, and this means something very important. We can ask our assistant to expand on a specific section or even to include some conclusions. With all these possibilities, we can go and start from scratch or get started from an already created draft for our reports and slowly but surely tell it to fill in whatever information we require. As you can see, ChatGPT is a great tool for extracting information and building reports, articles, and other types of documents. I truly hope you have found this course insightful. Good luck with your ChatGPT learning journey.